My name's Abby Lonsdale, I'm a social worker in the Learning Disability Team, which is part of Adult Services. We are going to see Jackie, who's a lady I've been working with, and I met her when she lived at home with her mum and her dad. She went into hospital with some health problems, and the result was that she had to have her leg amputated. So we're looking to rehouse and try and find a suitable housing for the whole family so Jackie can go and live with her mum and dad again. She's um, in her 50s. She lives at a residential home in Rustington. We're trying to sort out some of her finances at the moment and one of the things that I need to do is a mental capacity assessment around whether Jackie has the ability to make decisions about how her money is managed. The assessment involves establishing Jackie's ability to manage her own money and to make decisions about how her money should be managed in future. Do you remember what we're going to do today? Money. And what we're going to test? What we're going to... Um, how good you are. How good you are. Is that okay? Yeah. got lots yeah. of questions to ask you. So we'll do a number of tests looking at whether she can recognise certain types of money, whether she can identify coins and notes, We'll also look at some more abstract concepts to do with money, such as banking or post offices, credit cards, debit cards. We'll look a little bit at her ability to do arithmetic, adding and subtracting, a little bit about value for money, and we'll give her some items to look at and see if she can decide what's cheap and what's expensive um, and what she would pay for something normally, which should be quite difficult for her, considering her lack of experience in buying things. We'll do a little bit of looking at the options around who can support her with money and why they would support her and see what rationale she can give. And then we'll make a plan about what she wants to do with her money and how she wants to be supported with it. And I will um, look to making sure that her wishes are very important in what we write up. So then I'll go back to the office. I'll have a look at the scores that Jackie presented with. Um, from the assessment, we'll do a bit of adding up. I'll probably talk to other professionals in the team who've had a bit of time with Jackie and who know her quite well um, and see what they think because we just need to find out what they think Jackie would want and what they think Jackie's abilities are based on her experience of money and managing her own money. When assessing a client's needs, you normally spend quite a lot of time with them. You might observe them. You'd also talk to their carers, their family, their friends. Quite often you'd use other professionals in the team like occupational therapists, physiotherapists, um, speech and language therapists, psychologists, psychiatrists, and you'd use their specialist knowledge as well. And you can use that information to help inform your assessment. I think everyone practices individually they have their own professional way of doing it, but um, it's always a very informed and evidence-based way. The problems that you tend to come across um, in learning disability services anyway is the stigma and the discrimination that people suffer with. A lot of the time um, they'll find it really difficult to engage with services if they've had negative experiences in the past. So when I was at university I had three voluntary jobs working with vulnerable adults mostly and it was that work that inspired me to thinking that I could go and do social work. If you read about social workers in the news normally there's a lot more going on than you might be made aware of. So currently I'm working with 29 different people as the allocated worker for social work side of the team. I, I really love the team that I work with, I love the job that I do. My role lets me work with people who you wouldn't always see in day-to-day -day life or get to know. Um, so it just offers you more of an experience and it, it makes you very humble when you compare your life and your challenges to the challenges that somebody else faces every day with everything and every task that they have to do. At the end of the day, I feel absolutely exhausted normally, but like I've done something really worthwhile and rewarding, I feel like. I've achieved something and um, I'm normally very happy when I leave work if I've managed to help someone.